getting out early is actually something I need to do. So Rand Mower from Oreo Fish, I believe, is who created this one. Let me check, make sure I'm right. Oreo Fish 17 created the Rand Mower. And you sent me a completed one the other day, so hopefully I have the final latest complete version here to uh, to get a nice, nice, hopefully OP run. I like OP runs, but we'll see. Uh, let's see. Uh, pray for R and Jesus to mess up their music to stop it. <laughs> Whoa! What? Oh, is this a Lego ship? Uh oh. <laughs> this is a lawnmower, isn't it? <laughs> so apparently, Oreo fish has taken a page out of um, Stefan and Frannick's book and created a Lego lawnmower. Called it a Rand mower. I don't... Lawnmower blade. Is there supposed to be something in here? Um... Uh, um... Uh, there's a blade with no graphic there. I don't know what that's going on. Uh... <laughs> the Rand mower. Slice and dice, ship type A. Feel the wrath of the Rand mower. There are times when streamers need to go mow the lawn. As intended challenge. Use only beams as blades on the lawn lawnmower. What? Use only beams as blades on the lawnmower. Small bomb for shields. Teleporter if you use it. What? You couldn't figure out the images, so it doesn't have one. Okay, alright. At least it's not messed up. Or at least not missing them. So these are... Lawnmower blades are slow and prone to breaking, so they invented invented the mower beam. This is a one power beam, charges in 15 seconds, low fire chance, pierces all shields. Okay. And we have the disruptor, self teleporting explosive that does eight system damage. Eight system damage, okay. Intended to destroy weapons or shield systems can target your own ship. Holy crap. Okay, eight system damage. Am I supposed to teleport on this ship? And self-teleporting explosive desperation bomb that does 10 system damage and a high breach chance last ditch only can target your own ship. 4,500 crew damage. Whoa, okay. Uh, you know why the Gibbs didn't work? Is a zero velocity? Yeah, that makes sense. I thought it was probably something like that. It has come full circle. Lawnmower... F to C to puns to Hitler to Titanic to music and now lawnmower again. <laughs> okay. All right. Well, we start with four shields, two dodge, and lots of weapon power. So let's see what this thing can do. Oh, it has an artillery too. I didn't read this. Is this just a regular artillery or what? Okay. This is pretty OP. Um, it's a four-man teleporter. Let's have our... Um, Slug beyond piloting here. It's a basic fed artillery. All right. I feel like we should do some sort of boarding with this build. So we got a... What's the fire chance on this bomb? It's low fire chance. So the blades have a low fire chance. These all have a low fire chance. So I don't know about rock boarding with fire. This, is, this ship's a little all over the place. I'm not exactly sure what the build is here. So let's see what happens here. You never use a teleporter because the blades are 200 length. Okay. Um, all right. Giant alien spiders on first jump. I'll take that chance since I can restart. The intended challenge was to bomb the shields and use the beams to slice the ship apart. Okay. Um, <laughs> since I'm not supposed to use this, should I sell it? I mean, it's like free scrap if I sell it. Can I sell this thing? Or you say the end intended is to bomb... Why would I need to bomb shields if this thing pierces all shields? That's what I don't know. The build was about the beams mostly. Okay. Can I sell the desperation? Yeah, I guess I won't sell that immediately. So it's supposed to be about the beams, so we'll do this. About the beams. Let's see what this thing can do in action here. Do, 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 do. The shield size is dumb? Eh, it's, I don't think it's dumb. It's big, but... 
I don't think it's dumb. Okay, so let's try this bomb. Handy Dumbledoged. Again. I don't know. <laughs> so they're blades, so they go. So that would actually be really cool. They went really fast, like actual lawnmower blades. That's uh <laughs> That's a fast beam. <laughs> so it's all about the lawnmower beams. Alright, alright. I could play with these beams. Again, not sure what this this is for, because we're piercing everything. I guess it's just to get his weapons offline so we don't take damage. <laughs> Wow. Wow, that's... So we need triple automated reloader for these beams. The bomb's your choice. The bomb was due to my inability to make custom weapons. The beams made it ob obsolete. Okay. I have a Zoldan shield, too, so we are just... This is, uh... This could be OP run. Oh, my God. What? Why can't I get this on my stealth B run? A free pre-igniter literally second fight? Why do I have to use my OP RNG on the easiest runs of all time? Why? <laughs> oh my god. All right, Automated Reloader, you have been upgraded. Pre-ignited blades, frickin' hell. Salt and OP run. I am salty because I want this on my hard runs, not on my easy runs. 20 minute of flagship, you know what? I could probably do one more run if we just friggin' go. Let's just go. Let's just go. <laughs> yeah, never happy. Two OP. GG, go next. All right, we'll speed run this so we can get one more run. Because um, I think I have a ship from uh, Rad82. That is just a, like, we had that Vulcan ship. I think it's like a flagship. So let's let's do a speed run. We're going to speed run your ship, Oreo. <laughs> We're going to speed run because uh, this is ridiculous. <laughs> so just get uh, what do we need to get glaive beam I guess what is this it's a it's a rand mower we're mowing the lawn where the rebels are the grass and I am the blades that's what this is <laughs> it's a lego lawn mower where we one shot everything I said this was going to be the last run, but if you're going to give me this game, all right, we're going to like play ultimate, like, um, uh, like just get really OP really fast. Level two, all the things. So we have like blue options for all the things. Okay. Because you gave me all the power for some reason, because I wasn't strong enough. <laughs> Would it be possible not to speed run this ship? That's a good question. I gotta say, I like the look. <laughs> I like, at first I thought it was a chair, because it's very chair shaped, until I noticed, oh, there's wheels and a lawnmower, so. We won't completely speed run, but we will, we're gonna move pretty fast here. You damn rebels, get off my lawn! <laughs> I forgot that I had cloaking too. Get off my lawn. Do I need a, I mean, if I could find a pretty nice glaive beam. Um, the thing is, Glade Beam wouldn't work for this build. Because we can't get hacking. So... And since these things... Be well, I guess... Okay, I could get Glade Beam because these could take out shields. But they don't take out shields very fast. So I'd have to disrupt our shields and then Glade Beam. So, if we want a Glade Beam, we gotta... We gotta keep the disruptor. It's called the Randeer. <laughs> oh, I just wasted four fuel on a reactor upgrade that I started Vol with. Uh, Twitch did not notify you, Fax Soldier. Sorry to hear that. I did play your ship today, though. I did finally play your ship. Let's go to the store for... Well, actually, we did just get fuel. Check the bomb. It should take no missile. Just don't auto-fire it. Oh my god, I can get double disruptor. It takes zero missiles? Oh my god. Okay. Alright. Um, damn, I can't get a second one. Okay, so that replaces the, uh, that replaced the small bomb, I guess, huh? Okay. 
What is that? What WTF is that beam speed? It's supposed to be a lawnmower blade is what it is. You're right. It doesn't take a missile. Beautiful. So that one shots that. And then we do this. <laughs> well, I can honestly say I've never seen a beam like that before. That should not appear in stores. Too late. I'm going to buy one. No surrender. Wow, they can actually insta-do that. It's kind of crazy. Missile launcher takes no missile. Well, it's a bomb launcher, so... Doesn't do any hull damage. Does it? Does it do any hull damage? No, it doesn't. Okay. We're kind of lazily speedrunning this. Get clone bay ASAP. Uh, why? Why would I need a clone bay? I'm almost afraid he forgot to put a clone bay on here, but he probably did. A missile launcher that takes no missiles. You think the rarity needs to be zero to not impure stores? Defense drone. All right, stuff to sell. Okay. Um, I don't need fuel right now, even though I was almost out of fuel. Pirate? Yeah. Free crew would be nice. Free crew on my lawnmower. <laughs> Oh, this ship is so funny looking. The original file had no med bay and clone bay. Ah, okay, so that's one of the things you had to fix, huh? Come join my crew, Charlie. Actually, Charlie, you have piloting training, and I'm never going to get piloting training. Do I need to actually dodge anything, though? Maybe, but I have cloaking. Whoa, Cthulhu, holy crap. I guess that's your in-another-language greeting. I can't even read the letters in that. Um, automated reloader that I sold. Uh, okay. So the only thing pre-ignited I would want would be like a uh, glaive beam, I guess. Your ship wasn't too OP, was it? Um, which one was your ship again? Okay, let's do advanced med bay. Never use this one. I still think Henji's better than that. Uh, yours was the. God, my brain. My brain is not working right now. Oh, yeah, the uh, Zoltan see better. Yeah, it was OP. It was really OP. Because ion beams, uh, according to um, Biohazard, are the most OP weapon in the game. So, yes, it was completely OP. Ion beams are so OP. So we went... Uh, but what I will say is in Sector 1, I got a free... Um, I got a free uh, Beam Drone Mark III, which is pretty badass. So we got to see a Beam Drone Mark III plus your Beam Drone one Kind of wreck face. Who got a shot off? Did somebody get a shot off? Did somebody shoot at me? Do, 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 do. Damn. The only damage I've taken so far was five free hole damage. All right, I have enough for a glaive beam, so we're just looking for a glaive beam or a second disruptor if we want to go like a meme mode here. Where are the blades? I haven't even noticed where the blames are, blades are firing from because they're so fast. <laughs> do, do, do. Oh, wow, there's actually a... Oh, that looked like a blade, but it's like a bullet hole. Okay. Okay. Mantis Homeworlds? Um... I actually have boarding. I could get Kazak. See if we can get Kazak. Do I need anything else? I have teleport level two heal, but we got what we need. Let's go for Kazak. You didn't want to deal with dodge either, so the way how I made it was the best compromise you could come to. What do you mean, the dodge for what? You don't want them dodging like ion shots, ion lasers or something? What's up, Cthulhu? I'm doing pretty well. Having some pretty OP runs is how things are going. All right, looking for Kazak. Hey, we dodged. Nice. The top of the mower has four gun mounts. Okay. Okay, go up here and around. Okay, cool. Can we name the, sl the slug Hank Hill? <laughs> sure. All right, let me see where these lasers are coming from. I need to, like, pause so I can see it. It goes so fast. Okay, they're up here. <laughs> I can barely see them. Oh, man. 
Okay, and you said don't auto fire the bomb for some reason. Because that would be OP, I guess. All right, so Rockman Oreo, Slugman Hank, Slug, Slugman Hank Hill. All right. Hank Hill. Damn it, Bobby. And then we got uh, Oreo. Okay. Do, 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 do. You want to be the human, Eye Shadows? Okay. Okay, take the free stuff. Human Eye Shadows. Eye Shadows. That boy, I right, tell you what. Rename the human Bobby. No, no, we already got it. Uh, you want to be the NG Explosive Ash? Um, okay. Uh, I'm not going to name guys anymore because I actually want to speed run this, this run. I want to speed run it because we can get one more run in if I don't spend time just renaming every crew we get. So... Have the ethnic separatist rebels finally not met their match in the agrarian revolutionaries? What? Somebody wants to be the human? There are many people who like to be the human. I don't know why. Venting is... You know, I don't judge people for wanting to be vented. I actually applaud them. I think it's very brave. It's very brave to want to choose to be a human. And I don't like your Zoltan shield, so I'm going to do this. Do, 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 do. We're just, we're just. Whoops, whoops, auto fire. Because auto fire is too OP. You're out, wouldn't play games? Alright, my friend. Have a great rest of your night, and thanks for the ship. We'll see you later. Alright. I'm only spending a little extra time in this Mantis Homeworlds because I really want Kazak. Kazak, where you at? Where you is? One, two, three, four, five. Okay. Chat is like that. Chat is like that one kid who has the gum, gum pack. And Scribble is the first kid to ask for one. Okay. Okay. Do, 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 this, this freaking ship, man. Pre-igniter, my god. Do, 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 Never mind, it looked like a tractor you, but that's a riding lawnmower. Yep. It's a riding lawnmower called the Rand Mower. Uh, it's called the Rand Mower. And my church director is asking me a question through text let me see he needs a key for the song I will be doing um, law so uh, ACE flat um, hold on one second I gotta I gotta get in music I gotta get in music terms here so it's the six of the scale highest note is the uh probably ace well, that would be f sharp <laughs> probably the a or a flat Sorry, one second, guys. F sharp. Correct. Okay. Uh, have the rebels met their match in the landscapers union? <laughs> Apparently. Ah, uh, crap. If I pry it open, I could lose crew. Jettison. We're not stupid. Where's my, where's my Kazakh, man? A flat is the new G sharp. That's right. People asking about my range. Well, it's my. Uh, uh, my, my, my director at my church job wants me to sing Pontius Angelicus for, a, for one of the church services. And he's just asking what key I want it in. So, um, okay. Do I want crew? Do I want drone parts? I don't want drone parts. One more chance at Kazakh here. No Kazakh. Man, never lucky with Kazakh today. Never lucky, man. I haven't even used cloaking. Let's look at cloaking. Okay. Is that a cloaking image? I guess it doesn't appear, disappear. It's kind of a cloaking image, maybe? Key changes are a pain. Uh, I guess 
Maybe as an instrumentalist. For a singer, key changes are nothing. <laughs> key changes are, okay, I sing in a new key now. Because singers get to be lazy. Um, which is my excuse for changing from clarinet to singing. I didn't have to practice nearly as much in college. Cesar Franck, yeah, I believe I believe he's the one who did Pontius Angelicus. I've done it like once before. It's not my favorite song ever, but it's whatever. <laughs> it's whatever. You're going to pay me, I'll sing it. Gets free or pre-igniter, never lucky. Yeah, never lucky because no Kazakh. All right. Key changes are literally nothing in L2 Tet. I don't know what that means. Okay. Uh, store, what could we get? Glaive Beam. So I guess I'm saving up for Glaive Beam is all I'm doing right now. No Glaive Beam. All right, sure. Let's get Clone Bay because somebody asked about it. And we'll check that we actually have it. Okay, we have Clone Bay. Good. And I guess just for lols, I'll get more Doge. Lols for the Doge. Doge for the lols. 12 tone equal temperament. Oh, okay. That's what you're talking about. You love to talk about that stuff that's I never think about when it comes to that stuff. Uh, let's see. Key of A is more common than A flat. Okay. A works for me. Hey, that works for me. Hey, hey. All right. I will sing Pontius Angelicus in the key of A. It's like those, um, speaking of, we were talking about, um, uh, what was that? What was that Mel Brooks movie? Uh, Robin Hood Men in Tights. In movies, they always like to say, B flat. Like, that's the key of every song. It's like, oh, you need a key for something? I don't know anything about music. B flat. Uh, and in, in uh, Robin Hood Men in Tights, it's, the night is young and you're so beautiful. B flat. And then the orchestra starts playing. B flat is common. It is common, but it's not the only key. <laughs> it's just the one that when people hear it, they go, that's a music key. I recognize that. You could have just checked if the clone base showed the upgrade price in the store. Ah, uh, yeah. <laughs> but if I um, if I waste a little scrap, it's fine. It's fine. You're tone deaf and everything else deaf too, probably. So oh, keys mean nothing to me. It all sounds the same. Uh, you're probably not tone deaf. There's very few people that are truly completely tone deaf. Like, if you can tell something is higher or lower, then I would say you're not completely tone deaf. I think people just think, I can't sing. I must be tone deaf. Eh, probably not tone deaf. Okay, we're just going to nonchalantly upgrade our artillery all the way to the max here. Isn't that sort of a joke? Because B-flat is a pain in the ass on guitar? Oh, well, maybe. But guitar is very differently tuned than basically... Well, I guess I guess violin has some similar tuning, but... Usually when you're talking about key, you're talking about like orchestral or instrumental, not rock guitar things or whatever. Is B flat common for guitar? I, I don't know guitar. I, f I feel like beginner guitar stuff is usually an E or A or something like that. Because it's like easy to capo or E is just. Uh, e is most is. Uh, is very common for like. God damn it, words hard. Popular music. OK, flak two pre ignited is good, but no, I'm looking for glaive beams here. Did you say you lost on this ship, uh, Oreo, in the seventh sector? How did you lose with this ship? No offense, but how did you lose? <laughs> no offense, but how bad are you at this game? Just kidding. <laughs> like, seriously, how did you... Did you stop using your beams? Because they pierce everything. He didn't get pre or jump too. Oh, that's true. Okay, my bad. I did get pre-igniter jump too. I can't really talk crap. Um, okay. You didn't get pre get pre-igniter and miss and you missled and you got missled hard. Okay. 
No offense, but you suck. <laughs> rude, Rand is rude. I am kind of rude sometimes. Sorry about that. <laughs> uh, um, let's do... Hold on a sec. Where's doors? Let's get you on doors. Get you there, you there. No offense, but how bad are you? So bad. Can't win with max O penis. Yeah, I actually did I actually did get pre-igniter jump too. And Pie Boy, the first thing I said was, why do I have to get this on this run and not my stealth B run? That is like this is like the worst time ever to get a pre-igniter on a ship that needs no help to win. Literally starts with Zoltan Shield and freaking beams that bypass everything. He must be so bad he didn't get the most aug OP augments that could jump. So bad. <laughs> um, you know, I'll buy Elenius because apparently Elenius is the best blue option, people. So put you on doors. Do -do 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 -do. Actually, I don't like you on doors because that means people have to run through. Uh, wait, no, there's a door here so they can go. Like this and across. Okay. Back to your places, except you go there. there. You go there. Okay. Doop, doop. I'm really only going to stores to look for a glade beam. There's no such thing as politely telling someone they suck. I bet there's a polite way to do it. Have some drone parts. Reconstructive teleport. That's great. If I was boarding, that would be amazing. I try not to buy crew. Well, I mean, I just bought crew and now I'm overcapped on crew, but it does mean I can vent. Here you go, eyeshadows. Congratulations, you're a human. Now please die. Sorry about that. But you asked for being a human. Of course there's a polite way. We tell people they suck in corporate all the time and you have to be nice about it. You say things like, I have some constructive criticism for you. Actually, there, there are nice ways to tell people they suck. I would recommend not singing with your soft palate so low because you can get more um, open space in the back, which will give you more ring in your sound. That's what voice teachers do all the time, is come up with nice ways to say, your singing's really bad. You should try doing this so it's not so bad. It's basically what teacher's main job is, right? Being politely... Telling people that they suck. Uh, we have some feedback in relation to your recent performance. That might sound... That might sound not rude, but anybody who hears that would be instantly terrified. Because I feel like if I heard that, I'd be like, Oh my god, I'm getting fired. How do I have any hull damage? You suck. <laughs> well, my only hull damage actually was... Five free hull damage from, event, from an event, so... But you're right, I do kind of suck because I because I chose that event. I chose that event and failed at it. Singing advice, Rand, don't fart on the high notes. You know, it's funny you make that joke about not farting. However, one of the voice teachers that I had uh, talking about the actual physical act of singing, you actually need to build pressure to get vocal support to work correctly. So what he compared it to was sitting on the toilet and closing your vocal cords to create a pressure because that is what you do to defecate basically so basically how to support as a singer pretend you're about to take a dump that's what you do apparently that's i mean that's good except i can't take the zoltan shield bypass but sure so you joke but there you go <laughs> Rand doesn't sing so much as power dump. There you go. That's that's my way of singing. <laughs> All right. Cannot find a freaking glade beam. Why can't I find the most OP weapon to pre-ignite in the game? Why just why can't I do it? The game really wants me to board, and I refuse to because I have pre-ignited stuff. Well, I mean, flak doesn't work with this. I'll take a small bomb. I'll take a small bomb. In the first file as well, there were no doors to the arty and the bottom right room as well where the battery is. Okay. Dock with them, sure. Oh my god, it's a terp. Ermagerd, a kerpelier, it's a terp. 
And end up trying Bannerlord MZ. I've played it a couple times now, yes. Okay. Um, what do you have? You have fighting training. Who's not really useful? Uh, I guess it's got to be one of my NGs. There you go. So you can be on shields. This guy will be over here, I guess. Uh, yeah. You close the false vocal cords, which allows you to create pressure in your abdominal cavity. Things I get to teach in anatomy tomorrow. Nice, Ren. Yeah, my, uh, the, the voice teacher, it wasn't my personal voice teacher. He was actually the vocal pedagogy teacher. Um, studied a lot with, um, like ear, nose and throat doctors and stuff to, cause he really wanted to understand the physical mechanism. And that was some of the coolest stuff I learned in, in my, uh, in my, uh, college days was a lot of the actual physical actions that happen when you sing. It's pretty cool. Or kind of weird that singing is basically the same action or similar action as going going to the bathroom. Uh, watch Exit Beacon be holy crap Glaybeam. Oh man, that would have been amazing. I would have loved it. You ended up playing it and buying it pretty much all weekend. Nice, M says. Yeah, I actually want to play it some more, but too many good games to play, but that's okay. That's a good problem to have. That does sound like a cool class. Yeah, vocal pedagogy is a lot of fun. Um, we learned about stuff like... Uh, one of the first things we talked about was acoustics. Things like understanding how uh, the voice can still be heard unmiked. Like the operatic voice can be heard unmiked over a 200-piece orchestra. And it has to do with the fact that the vocal, uh, that human vocal range uh, vibrates at a frequency that is the overtones in the vocal, the overtone pattern or whatever it's called of the voice rings at 3000 hertz, which is not a, uh, which is a, a frequency that no other instrument uh, is as full in something like that. I forget the exact term, but basically 3K ring is what he teaches. The voice has a has a has a frequency that vibrates at 3K that can be heard piercing through the orchestra kind of thing. Yeah, super interesting. A lot of cool stuff we learned in that class. Okay. All right, let's kill the boss real fast. Human voices are designed to pick up voices. Our human brains are designed to pick up human voices. This is true as well. However, there is actual acoustical reasons for it and what I just said is one of the major ones. And that's what uh, that's what often opera singers are being taught to do is sing in that 3K ring. That's what our voice teachers at the uh, school that I went to would, would often say. Make sure you get that placement right so you get that 3K ring is one of the terms they would use. Um, I don't want you to do that, so I'm going to do this. Keep your cloaking offline, please. Uh, I guess we doged. Your brain is, wire, brain is wired only to pick up squirrels. Nice. Stop making such amazing games. No, that doesn't mean you EA games. You're already bad. <laughs> EA, make good games, please. Okay. All right. 351 scrap. I, don't even, I mean, sure. Just buy some random stuff. <laughs> your, ship's, your ship's great, Oreo. It's a little low P. I think that the respiratory system is really fascinating. Different pitches are created by the tension applied to the vocal folds by muscles pulling on a pair of small cartilages in the larynx. Yeah, um, we one of the one of the things we learned we learned all about it was kind of crazy. It actually, felt like a our vocal pedagogy, pedagogy class felt like a almost like an anatomy class for a while because we were lear we learned about the different. Um, uh, the different parts of the actual vocal fold. So learning about pieces like the cricoarytenoids, the thyroarytenoids, all the different, I don't remember everything, but I remember learning about the different, those are each a, a ligament or something that all interconnect each other and all that kind of stuff. So cool stuff. Cats learn to imitate babies crying to get our attention. Is that true? Is that real? Uh, if so, man, cats are really our evil geniuses. That's why baby crying is piercing and turning. We're hardwired to pay attention to and hate the sound of babies crying. So that's what we do something about it. Okay. All right. So do we one-shot the shield? 
Almost. Is mayonnaise an instrument? I have... What? What? What does that mean? I guess anything can be an instrument if you slap it against a percussion instrument hard enough. Throw it against the wall and it makes a very weird sound. So sure. Sure. I would say mayonnaise is a percussion instrument. Is there is there a joke there? I don't get it. I don't get the joke if that's... All right, GG. <laughs> the Rand Mower. Oh, I don't watch SpongeBob. Okay, my bad. You're naming the muscles that connect. Ah, oh, that's right. They're the muscles. Connect the various cartilages. So learning to consciously control a specific muscle would help with your singing. Yes. Although I don't know that we ever learned to consciously control our crico, thyro, arytenoids, all those things. It's mainly understanding what they were doing so he can talk about how he talked about registers and singing. This is all getting very technical stuff about singing stuff. So probably nobody knows what to talk about. 35-23, golf score. Okay. One more run for the day since that run was incredibly fast. Um... Let's do another fun ship that might not be quite so OP. Um, that was the Rand Mower from Oreo Fish. Well done, Oreo Fish. Frickin' OP as hell. Not quite sure how you lost, but I did get a pre-igniter, so... Uh, 